<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and in today's video we're going to be doing, you guessed it, another product video from home. So I hope you're doing well and you liked what you just saw. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the behind the scenes process of how I created this video. If you are new here in this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Your support will be greatly appreciated. I create weekly content on filmmaking, gear review, photography, video editing, tutorials, and all of that fun stuff. If you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here. Your support is always appreciated. Fun fact. I actually have been waiting for a long time to wear these shoes. This is not a sponsored video. These were just new shoes that I recently purchased. Actually, not too recently. It's about a month ago that I bought these shoes. But I wanted to do a spec product commercial with these shoes. So I've been putting it off and I haven't gotten a chance to wear these shoes yet because I didn't want to ruin them or get them dirty before my video shoot. So right now, I've only worn these shoes once at home just to test if they fit and they do fit and they're actually very comfortable. I haven't yet tested them in the water, but they claim that they're 100% waterproof and that's the reason why I bought them in the first place. So that's actually one important thing to keep in mind when you're doing a product video. The product that you wanna highlight has to be immaculate as much as possible. For this shot, I want the box to be in mid air and as it rotates in the air, I want the lid to open up and the shoes to fly out. So I'm going to be shooting each of these items individually. The box with the lid and then just the lid and then just the empty box and then just the shoes. And I'll be compositing that later in After Effects to create that box opening up in mid air. I didn't want to destroy the box, this box that I'm going to be using for the, the actual product box. So what I did, just used a sample box to test things out to make sure the idea that I have in mind for this is actually going to work before I go ahead and destroy the box because I only have one box. So I made holes here and then I just put some uh, fishing wire inside it. And I planned, hopefully this works, is to just show you here, to do that. Hold the box this way so that it creates this sort of uh, a rotation that I can use. So the way I'm lighting this is I have this spotlight with the green screen to light that green screen a little bit on this side and filling it up a little bit more here and focusing all the light in the middle. I don't have more light to light the entire green screen, which would be ideal, but that's all I have. Then an LED panel here with a softbox and um, I'm going to a softbox and this is actually the Amaran 100D. It was actually the last one in town. What we're going to do with the shoe, same thing. We use a fish line to hook it up and let it rotate and spin this way. The one thing though is that it's not very stable so you can see the shoe wobbling. So what I'm trying to do is stabilize it and just let the shoe rotate by itself. So I'm just gonna stable it and wait for the shoe just to rotate by itself and to give me that very nice smooth rotation without the wobble. So as I have my shoes intact, what I'm going to do first is just shoot the final scene because I'm going to be throwing the shoes into the water and doing a lot of different fun stuff. So before I get it all messed up, I'm gonna shoot the last hero shot first, and this is my setup. I have an idea of laying the shoes on the ground um, in this reflective surface, which is just black acrylic, and I'm going to put water on top of that so the shoes are gonna lay on top of the water. I don't have a bigger acrylic, so I have to go really tight on this shot. Ideally, I would like it to be a little bit of a wider shot, but I'll make it work with what I have. What I'm going to try to do with this shot is layer it in two shots. So I want a little bit of the, the bottom to have some sort of moving water. So what I'm going to do is layer this, this shot, 
having the tripod in the same spot for both shots. The first shot is just the shoes on the black thing with water. And then the second shot, as I pour some water on top of it, I'm going to mask that to only show the moving water on the, on the ground. So yeah, that's the last shot. The next series of shots are going to highlight the shoes qualities and I found all of these qualities on the website of the company. There are four qualities that we're going to showcase. The first one is that it's 100% waterproof. So let's get that done first. So this first shot is just going to be a macro shot of a droplet just running through the shoe and using an extension tube as well for this just to give me that macro capability because I do not have a macro lens with me. So that's just a cheap option to get macro like shots on your regular lens. For the droplet, I'm also going to try to use these two. I'm using this one that's like a little chemical one and this massive one. We'll see which one I like more for that drop effect. So. The next thing is to show the breathability of the shoe. So what I'm gonna do is just a close up. I'm gonna put my hand inside the shoe and then just make it look like it's breathing, so. So the next feature we're going to highlight is that it's 100% creature free. And the website, they show a little plant. So I thought it would be cool to also add some plants to the shot. So this is very straightforward. I'm keeping this blue in the background. I'm using this as a platform, just to give me that blue platform that would tie in with the background, with the brand, with the shoe. Here, I just used a little uh, flower pot here to raise it up a little bit and just using a couple of plants that I have at home to create a little bit of an arch over here. So I actually decided to bring in this tube light as well. I felt like there was not enough backlight or rim light on the shoe. So I'll show you right now actually what it looks like without the tube light. Now with the tube light. So it makes a whole ton of difference in my opinion so yeah just little subtleties like that can really elevate your shot to the next level the next feature is that it's lightweight So this brings me to the last shot of this product video. So I purposely left this shot to be the last one to do because it's so messy. Actually, it's not that messy, it's just a lot of water involved. What I'm going to do is shoot this at 120 frames per second and have the water and the shoe collide in the air. So hopefully it works out. And if it does, you probably already saw that. So what I have here is just some plastic drop sheet that I got from the dollar store because I'm going to throw some water up. I thought it'd be better just to cover it to make the cleanup process a lot easier for myself. Three, two, one. All right, so what's happening here is the timing of the shoe didn't quite work. It was really hard to do. So what I'm doing right now is just using fish line, putting the shoe in here onto this little uh, tripod. I'm just gonna hold it up there while I just get my wife to throw the water from underneath and have it collide with the shoe in midair. And I'll just use CC simple wire removal to remove that fish line over here. And yeah, that's it.
So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes and you picked up a trick or two from this video. So please hit that like button if you haven't already, your support is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out. And here are a couple other product videos that you could check out next. So that's it for today guys, until next time.